everyone, today I'm going to make my roast tomato soup and it is so easy and simple and delicious and flavorful and you're going to love it. So first thing we want to do is we have a bunch of tomatoes that we just wash and dry. I have some fine ripe, I have some ugly, I have some yellow. You want to make sure that they're nice and ripe. And what we're going to do is go ahead and we're just going to chop them, the small ones, we're just going to go ahead and chop them in half. Just like this, we're gonna put them in a bowl because we're gonna put some olive oil and some salt and some pepper and some garlic and some basil and we're gonna roast it all together. And then for the bigger ones, we're gonna go ahead and chop them in quarters, just like this. All right, so we're just chopping up our last tomato. I'm just gonna cut this one in half because it's small. Now we have all of our tomatoes in here. They look delicious. Look at this, all the different colors and everything looks great. So now we have here, so we're just gonna take some fresh basil and just go ahead, we're just gonna put it all in there. Don't worry about chopping it because we're gonna blend it all together. Just gonna put a bunch of this in here. Look how good that looks. This is gonna almost crisp up, it's gonna be so great. And then we have some, oops, some garlic cloves. We're gonna do about five garlic cloves. We're just, all we're gonna do is just take our knife just like this, smash them, just a little bit, just to kind of expose the insides. We want these to get nice and roasted too. And then, then put some red pepper flakes on it. And we're gonna roast these all together. This is such, so easy. Very rustic, very healthy. It's great. Now, I like a lot of heat lime. All right. So that looks delicious. Let's go ahead and add some salt. And then nice, healthy the salt. This is gonna let kind of extract some of the juices of those tomatoes. Make a nice tomato sauce. And add some pepper. Looks so good already. I'm so excited. All right. And then we're going to add some good olive oil here. Nice fruity olive oil. Let's go ahead and just look at this. This is my kind of cooking. All right, so now I'm just going to mix it together a little bit. have a roasting pan or a lined sheet paper. I'm just going to put them all on here. Just like that. Look at those. We're going to pop this in the oven. Now we have the oven on 425. 425. What we're going to do is we're going to let these cook for about 15 minutes. We just want them to kind of get nice and fire roasted and delicious. So now in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and our pot here. We're going to saute some onions in it. I'm going to put a little, little bit of olive oil. And just a little bit. We're going to chop up one large red onion. All right. So now we have our large onion. We're just going to go ahead and chop it up like we usually do. Alright, so now our onions are all chopped. Now you don't have to worry about precision cutting here because we're going to blend it all together with the tomatoes anyways. So go ahead, put it on in here, let these cook down. We're going to also add to this some salt and some pepper and a little bit of balsamic, about two tablespoons. Let's go ahead and do that. Some salt. And some balsamic. Beautiful. Just like this. I'm gonna go ahead and let these kind of caramelize down. It's gonna give it a really nice deadness of flavor. Alright, now we're gonna make some croutons. And these are just really easy, very rustic. We're just gonna put it on in there. We just have some French bread, it can be nice and stale, doesn't really matter. So we're gonna cut these up. Chop, you can chop them in any size that you want. You can make them really rustic. You can pull the bread, you know, just make it like that. Any way that you want. And then, all right, so this bread's all cut. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna put it in a bowl right here. I'm just gonna toss it with some olive oil, some salt and pepper. Just a little bit. How easy is this? This is such an easy recipe. 
great flavor. Great for a nice cold day. You want to warm up. Nothing better. Put a little salt and pepper. Just like that. Go ahead and stir this around and all that oil. Too much of it. All mixed up together. This can be great because we're just going to put a few in the bottom of the bowl where we ladle in our soup. It'll get kind of mushy and delicious. So we'll go ahead and add this in here. Made it smell amazing. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes. And we're both done. So put these in. Ooh, those look delicious. And put these back here. Now I get my tomatoes that have been in there. These look heavenly. They look so good. All those juices have really extracted. Just loads of flavor in there. So now, what we do, so I'm gonna put it in with our onions. We let uh, caramelize quite a bit, and they look really good. So I'm gonna turn this back on. Those look delicious. So I'm just gonna put these in with our onions a little bit, let them cook just a little bit, and then we're gonna mix it all together in the blender. So I just put it in here and just stir it all together just so it gets all incorporated with those balsamic onions. And now, I'm just going to take a little bit of time and I'm going to blend it all together. You don't want to do too much because it might pop up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put all, <laughs> do it over here just in case. Put some tomatoes in, get some of the juice in. <laughs> In batches, you want to make sure you just do a little bit at a time. Just mix it all together. Nice! You know, I'm just going to put it back in and just keep going. All right, so this is all done, but it needs some more seasoning. Needs some more salt. You want to make sure your seasoning is correct before you, before you serve it. Just going to go ahead and put some more salt and some more pepper in here. Mix it all together. It looks delicious. You can still, I don't want it too chunky, I mean too um, pureed, so I left it a little bit chunky. Just a little chunky. I'm gonna go ahead and try it. See how it is. And you'll notice it's not that super dark, deep red because I put those yellow tomatoes in it, but I like it. Mmm, it tastes perfect. Uh, it's so good. So now, to assemble, we're gonna put a few of our croutons in here. It's gonna sop up all that delicious tomato. Just put a few in there. We're gonna ladle our delicious soup over it. And if this wasn't decadent enough, we're gonna to top it with a little bit of creme fraiche. And that's gonna kind of melt, and make it kind of creamy and delicious. So now, get another spoon here. Make sure everything's all covered. Look at that, that looks so good. Now, I'm going to dot it with a little bit of our sour, or our creme fraiche, just a little bit. Maybe a little bit more. Make it nice and silky and delicious. And there you go. That is my roasted homemade tomato soup, perfect for the winter time. I hope you like it.